Hi, everyone. <laughs> hi, guys. I'm Casey. Oh, that hi, guys. That sounds so like peak YouTube. Um, <laughs> sorry about that. Um, but hello and welcome to my first solo video for the Casey Ezell Writer Life channel. Yay! I'm so glad that you're here and I hope that um, you enjoy this video and this channel. Um, I thought that I would do a quick introduction to um, this project and what I intend <clears throat> this channel to be and to take a moment too to um, solicit your input uh, as a community on what you'd like to see from me um, as we build this channel and build our our followership and our community together. Um, first thing you probably want to know though is who the heck am I? <laughs> so like I said, my name is Casey. Um, my full name is Casey Ezell. I am a writer and a um, pilot. I'm retiring from the Air Force this summer, from the U.S. Air Force this summer. And uh, um, I'm in the middle of, of a whole transition. Um, in addition to that, you know, I have a lot of other roles too. I'm a mom, I'm a wife, um, you know, daughter, friend, all those things, all those things that we all do, right? Um, in various forms or whatever. So uh, in any case, um, the main thing, as far as this channel is concerned, is uh, that I'm a writer and I write um, science fiction and uh, fantasy and military science fiction and alternate history. Um, I'm most well known or kind of like the first thing that I that I started being known for was my science fiction and military science fiction, uh, particularly working within John Ringo's Black Tide Rising Universe. Um, and uh, from there I've branched out to work with independent publisher Chris Kennedy and um, a great team over in the Four Horsemen universe, which is mech-based military science fiction um, that uh, is published through uh, Seventh Seal Press, which is an imprint of Chris Kennedy Publishing. If you haven't checked that out and, uh, you know, the whole Battletech um, thing is your vibe, then highly, highly recommended. We've got now, I think, over 70 novels um, and several short story anthologies and uh, a role-playing game book that is almost finished uh, that a friend of mine is doing. So yeah, it's a great time. Um, in addition to that, I also write fantasy and urban fantasy. Um, I have um, several urban fantasy short stories out and am in the process of working with um, our, another new author, Dave Shadoin, on an epic fantasy project that um, probably won't see for a while um maybe the end of this year uh but um primarily working with um new mythology press which is the f fantasy imprint of chris kennedy publishing in addition to that um i also have a true love for the noir genre um so if you're not familiar noir kind of refers to film noir a little bit um and there are so many definitions i could probably do a whole video on what is noir and if you guys want to see that let me know because I'll be happy to do it. Um, but uh, I have um, edited two uh, anthologies for Bane Books, um, working with author Larry Correa um, as my co-editor. And we've done we've put together two collections. Um, the first one's called Noir Fatale, and it's available now. And um, the second collection is coming sometime this year, and um, it is called um, No Game for Nights. Uh, and they both focus on individual character archetypes from the noir genre. Um, the first one, Noir Fatale, focuses on the character archetype of the femme fatale and who is she and how does she appear in crossover stories of science fiction and fantasy, right? Um, because that's one of the things that I love so much about noir is that it it's very versatile and it shows, you know, it can show up in a fantasy story or in a sci-fi story um, very, very well, very beautifully and um and still be very much noir um great some you know some great examples include uh blade runner and uh, altered carbon those are both sci-fi noir um stories so um so yeah so that's noir fatale is uh the femme fatale archetype and then no game for knights is coming sometime in 2022 from bane books and that one focuses on the character archetype of the noir detective so very cool, very exciting stuff. Um, I uh, I hope you guys, if you're interested in any of that, please check it out. I'll leave links below. So 
in addition to being a writer, like I mentioned, I am a um, pilot. I uh, fly helicopters for the United States Air Force for a few more months. Uh, this summer, I am um, retiring uh, after 23 years of service, and uh, I will probably still be flying a little bit, um, at least I hope so, after I retire. I'm you know, looking uh, in the job market for um, a flying gig that will still let me get my flying fix because it really is a little bit like a drug um it, you know once it gets into you it's it's hard to <laughs> hard to stop um but um um but i'm i'm kind of trying to transition from full-time pilot part-time writer to more of a full-time writer part-time pilot type paradigm um so we'll see and part of the reason for this channel is to to try and document that process and see um, so that, you know, if there are those of you out there who are going through your own transitions, whether it be a career transition like mine or some other kind of life transition, um, these things are difficult. And one of the things that can help us, I think, really get through them with a minimum of pain <laughs> and with a maximum of grace, if you will, is, um, is community. And so, um, that kind of leads me to the purpose of what I want to do with this channel, KCE's All Writer Life. And that is, I want to utilize YouTube and the tools that go along with it to really build a thriving community of uh, friends and fans of my work um, and, and to promote my books as well, but mostly just to build that community. Um, one of the things I think that we've really learned since 2020 and the um, COVID pandemic is the importance of community and, you know, it, it's very difficult for us to get through the trials and tribulations of life without feeling a sense of connection. And, um, you know, obviously there are various ways of connection and I'm, and I'm certainly not saying that any one way is better than another, but I'd like to build a, a place, a venue, um, for us to connect with one another and to have that, that sense of connection, um, and to support one another through, the various transitions that uh, that we go through and to enjoy some good stories along the way. <laughs> so at least I hope they're good. I think they're good. Otherwise, I wouldn't put them out there. So um, so, so that's sort of the purpose of the channel, right? Our, our My mission statement, if you if you want to get into like, um, you know, corporate talk is to build a community of uh, friends and fans to um, celebrate my work and, and to promote connection amongst each other. So what does that mean? How are we going to do that? Well, um, I'm going to make some videos and uh, I hope that you'll watch them and enjoy them and like them um, both internally and externally by hitting the like button. <laughs> um, but I'm going to make videos about transitioning uh, from active duty to being a full-time writer. Um, I'll make some videos about my writing process if that's something that you guys are interested. I really want to do some live stream videos um, with members of the community um, as well as with my uh, co-authors and colleagues and publishers. Um, and I want to do some kind of informal chats with, uh, with my writer friends um, or my friends within the, the writing community because I, I think that, um, you know, I know a lot of really smart people and they have a lot of really interesting things to say and I'd love to share that with you, my community. So here's the plan going forward. Um, I'm going to try to have at least one new upload a week um, and I'd like to get to the point where we're doing um, at least one live stream hangout per week. I'll do that through um, StreamYard and um, and then post it on YouTube as a YouTube live. Um, and um, so more updates on that as, as I go along and kind of figure out the structure of um, and mechanics of how exactly I'm going to do that. These live streams will consist of, you know, just chats really, um, an update on what's going on with my life, with my works in progress. Um, and then I also have a Discord channel um, called Between Lost and Found that um, I, or a Discord server, excuse me, that I would love to invite you to. Um, and I'll have a place on there for people to post questions in the Discord so that um, I can, you know, when we do these, these live stream chats, I can go on there and answer those questions. And I know that sounds like a fantastic idea and I cannot take credit for it <laughs> because that idea actually came from the... Uh, um, author Sarah Cannon, who I'm a huge fan of her work. Um, if you guys are into urban fantasy, 
um, or contemporary romance, I highly, highly recommend that you check her work out. Um, SarahCannon.com is her website. And um, she actually has two channels here on YouTube. She has her Sarah Cannon fan channel and a channel called Heart Breathings here on YouTube that um, talks about planning and productivity uh, as relates to a writer. So great resources. Please go check them out. Um, I absolutely adore her and I want to be her best friend. <laughs> Sorry, I should probably like stalker alert that or something. <laughs> so in any case, um, I just want to also take a moment and really say thanks for being here. Thanks for watching this first video in all its raw beginner glory. Um, thanks for coming on this journey with me. Uh, I am so looking forward to uh, building this aspect of the community and um, and really connecting with all of you. Um, several ways to do that, by the way. Uh, if you are not already a member of my mailing list, then I would love it if you would consider joining. I'll put a link below. Um, if you do join the mailing list, good news is you get a couple of free stories. Um, so there's that to look forward to. Join my Discord as well. Like I talked about, um, there will be a channel on there for questions for the live chats. Um, but also just come hang out. Um, we do writing sprints there. We do um, discussions about my books. We do discussions about creativity in general, um, how to live a creative life or how we live our creative lives, um, some wellness stuff. So it's really, um, it's really kind of a, a great place to hang out and connect. And um, it's probably my favorite tool for individual one-on-one -on -one connection with, um, with my fans and friends and stuff. So, and yeah, um, if you haven't done so already, once again, I would really like to um, ask you to consider giving me that Chuck Yeager thumbs up and hit the like button um, because uh, obviously liking my videos helps the channel to grow. So if you guys have questions, please post them below. Um, thanks for being here. Like, thanks for doing this with me. Um, I can't wait. I will, uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.